So in this video, we will discuss about common multiples. So in the last video, we discussed about the importance of common factors. Now we will take the numbers together and try to find out the common multiples. So what we are going to do is we will essentially take the numbers together and write down the multiples and see if there are common multiples. So we take two numbers that is number 4 and number 6 and let us write down the multiples for the number 4 and 6. So we start with 4. So 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. Then what do we have? I'm just 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. I can even write more for example 44, 48 and so on but we will limit ourselves to these much multiples at the moment. Now let us write the multiples for 6. So we have 6, 12, 18. Twenty four, thirty, thirty six, then we have forty two, forty eight, and then what do we have after forty eight? We come to fifty four and sixty. I can write one forty eight here as well, one additional factor forty eight. So these are the multiples. Now our goal is here to find out. If there is any multiple that exists for 4 as well as for 6 and if we find any common multiple we are going to encircle them so let us start doing that 6 4 no so what is the common number that first I can find I can find that the number 12 is a multiple for of 4 as well as it is a multiple of 6 as we go ahead 16 20 24 yes 24 exists here as well it, it also exists as a multiple of 6. Is there any other number that we can find out? We do find out that 36 is a multiple of 4 and 6 as well. The next number that happens to be the multiple, common multiple is 48 and 48 here. So of course we can find more multiples as we go ahead. Okay, so the multiples that exist right for both the numbers could be written here as 12 then we have 24 36 48 and so on till we have this number till the number of multiples that we have written so these are the multiples and, and so this is essentially what common multiples are if there are multiples that exist for both the numbers, they are called multiples common to both of those numbers. So for example, 12, 24, 36 and 48 are the common multiples for the number 4 and 6. Of course, there could be more multiples, but just for the sake of saving space, we have just written these many numbers and we have found out that these are the common multiples. Now the same thing, same example, we can try it for three numbers so what we are going to do is we are going to write multiples of 2 3 and 4 so let us start with the writing down with the multiples of 2 so 2 4 6 8 i know this is obvious and we can write it fast 14 16 so i'll write just the multiples till we multiply them by 10 to make things a bit simpler for us and for 3, it's just like writing the table of the 3. And 30. And about 4, we have already written 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and 40. So these are the multiples that we have written and again we will try to find out the common multiples 
So what are the common multiples that exist for 2, 3 and 4? So 6, 6, no. So 8, no. So can we come across 6, no. 6 is here, here, but it isn't here. T 8, no. 10, no. 12, yes. So we see that 12 is a multiple here. 12 is a multiple here and 12 is a multiple here so the first multiple that we found is 12 so let me just write down 12 here now what is the other multiple that comes up as common in this set that we have here so do we have 16 no okay so uh, yes okay so if we can write this a bit more I mean just for the sake of uh, simplicity we had written it so I'll add two more factors here 22 and 24 okay so that is just to see so if we see that this 24, there is this 24 here and there is this 24 here. So in this, the multiples that we have written here, right? So in that we just have two multiples which are common to these. In fact, there will be more, but just for the sake of simplicity, we are taking two. So the so it's not that we can just take only two pair, a pair of numbers to find out multiples. It can exist for any number of numbers. That is, you can take any n numbers and just write down their multiples and see which ones are common so so that is the concept of common multiples in the next session we'll be discussing a bit more in detail about the divisibility rules somewhat advanced ones